This lesson, or screencast, is designed to help you with Module 2, Lesson 7, where we work with the area model with greater factors yet. I'm just going to do two problems uh, that include both the area model and the standard algorithm. I'm not going to include any homework help because the homework problems are all one step, very straightforward. The main thing is to accurately multiply using the standard or form or the area model. So let's get started. Okay, let's read our instructions. It's much like it was the previous uh, evening. We're going to draw an area model, meaning we're going to make a rectangle. Then we're going to solve using the standard algorithm over here, the way we traditionally do it. And we use arrows to match the partial products from the area model to the partial products in the algorithm. The main difference between today and yesterday uh, is the size of our numbers. Um, we're now multiplying three uh, digit numbers by three digit numbers and indeed we'll work with three digit numbers times four digit numbers. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enlarge this a little bit so that we have a little more space to work with and I'm going to now create my area model. I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to try to make it nice and big so that we have plenty of room to work with. All right. Now I want to decompose my factors as we did in the previous uh, lesson. We start with our first factor and that goes along the top of our rectangular model. We're going to decompose that by place, essentially turn it into expanded form. So, I have two hundreds plus seven tens plus three ones. Now we're going to draw lines to partition our model into columns. Now we'll take the next one. We're going to start with the ones place. We have six ones plus four tens or forty plus three hundreds and we're going to partition this into rows. Now we'll begin our multiplication. As we have in the past, we're going to start with our six in the ones place. So we start with our ones place and multiply each one of these digits. Then we're going to go to the four and multiply each digit and so on. We're going to work from the right to the left. So, let's begin. 3 times 6 is 18. 6 times 7 tens is 42 tens. 6 ones times 2 hundreds is 12 hundreds or 1,200. Let's go on to the next place. 40, 4 tens times 3 is 12 tens or 120. 4 tens times 7 tens is 28 hundreds or 2,800. And 40 times 2 hundreds, 4 tens times 2 hundreds is 8 thousands. Finishing up with the hundreds place, I have 3 ones times 300, 900. And I have 3 hundreds times 7 tens, which gives me 21,000. And now we go with 300 times 200, which is 6 ten thousandths or 60,000. Let's find our partial products. Uh, you may want to draw these going vertically. Okay, if we're not so accustomed to working horizontally, uh, there's no shame in rewriting these. I'm just a little short on space, so I'm going to continue by adding these rows. Okay, so I'm going to look at my 8 in the 1's place. And I have, I have a 2 and a 1, a total of 3 in the 10's place. In the hundreds place, I have a 4 and a 2 for a total of 6. 
in the thousands place I merely have the one. Going on to my next place, the tens, we have zero ones. I have two tens. I look at my hundreds. I have one plus eight for a total of nine. Now I go to my thousands. I have two plus eight, which is ten. So I exchange that for one ten thousand. That's my next place. Moving along, going on to the uh, ones place I have zero, and the tens place I have zero because I'm multiplying by hundreds. I have nine in the hundreds place. I have one in the thousands place. And I have eight in the ten thousands place. Now let's go to our standard algorithm here. Hopefully we've got enough room to stretch this out and, and see what we've got here. We want to see if our partial products in our area model match our partial products here. I'm going to just enlarge this just a little bit. No, can't do that. Alright. So I'm going to multiply 3 times 6. I get my 18. Regroup my 1 right there. 6 times 7 is 42, plus 1 is 43. Regroup my 4. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 4 is 16. Cross that out. We have a match. We're going to now put in a 0 because we're multiplying from the tens place. And I multiply my 4 times 3. And I get a 12. And I regroup my 1 right here. And now I multiply 4 times 7. I get 28 plus 1 is 29. Regroup my 2 here. And 4 times 2 is 8 plus 2 is 10. So we can see a match here as well. Let's now go to the hundreds place. We'll put in our two zeros. Now I have 3 times 3. That makes 9. 3 times 7 is 21, regroup my 2. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. And again, we have a match. Now we take our partial products and we find the sum of the partial products to find the final product. So 8 plus 0 plus 0 is 8. 3 plus 2 is 5. I have 6 plus 9 is 15 plus 9 is 24. Regroup my 2. And I have 1 plus 1 plus 2 is 4. And I have 1 plus 8 is 9. So my product is 94,458. Let's do one more example. I don't think we need more than a couple of examples here. And again, you're going to do some with the area model and standard algorithm. Others, you're just going to do the standard algorithm. All right, this one's interesting. Three digits by three digits once again. But notice that in the second factor, we have nothing in the tens place. Let's see what that means in terms of this problem in a partial product. Let's start with our diagram. Once again, taking the first factor, we'll decompose it by place value. So I have two hundreds plus seventy tens plus three ones. We'll draw in our lines to partition this into three columns. Now the next one is interesting because I have six in the ones place. I have nothing in the tens so I don't need another partition for the tens. So we have six plus 300. Note that I only have two rows. Two rows is going to mean we only have two partial products. Now, I could put zeros in there, uh, zero tens, and then put zero, 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 zero uh, across all these columns, but that's not necessary. So let's solve. Six times three is 18. Seventy times six is 420. And 12, 6 times 2 hundreds is 
1,200. 3 times 3 is 900. And 7, 70 times 300 is 21,000. Notice that these numbers are similar to ones that we worked with earlier. And here I have my 60 ten thousandths. Because 3 times 2 is 6. And then we have our hundreds by hundreds makes the ten thousands. Now let's do our partial products. I have an 8. I have a 3. I have a 6. And I have a 1. Should look familiar. Now here I'm going to start with two zeros. Because I have nothing in the tens, nothing in the ones. I have 900. I have 1,000. And I have 8 ten thousands. Let's see what happens. Let's now go to our uh, standard algorithm here. I'm going to change the color of this just so that things show up a little bit better uh, when I regroup. So we're going to do 6 times 3 is 18. I'm going to regroup my 1. And 6 times 7 is 42. Plus 1 is 43. Regroup. And 6 times 2 is 12. 12 plus 4 is 16. So we see that we have uh, a correspondence between my partial products, both in the area model and in the standard algorithm. We're not going to multiply by the tens place. Some people might want to write 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 across here. That's a waste of time. The main thing that we have to remember, though, is now we are multiplying from the hundreds place. So we need to place two zeros in my partial product. All right, let's begin. I have nine times, or three times, three is nine, no regroup. I have three times seven is 21, regroup my two. And I have three times six is six, three times two is six, plus two is eight. And once again, we have a correspondence. So we add our partial products to find our final product. The answer is 8,538. Again, it's important to write neatly. Again, it's important to calculate carefully. You'll be doing some with the area model and the standard algorithm, more with just the standard algorithm. All your word problems, here's a hint, Use the standard algorithm. They're one-step problems, so I'm not going to give you a hand with that. I expect to see you to be able to see you able to create accurate tape diagrams for a simple one-step problem with uh, without hesitation. Good luck on your homework.